Good morning, everyone, and thank you for joining me once again on my YouTube and Rumble channels. Today is June 12th of 2023, and I'd like to share another message with you from the Lord today. Just a reminder to those of you who may not have yet subscribed to this channel, please take a minute to subscribe and click the notification bell for notice of further videos. To print a downloadable PDF of this message today, please go to my website and click on the upper right-hand corner of today's Word to access it. For those of you who would like to review past words from the Lord, please go to the archives. My website address is in the description box below as well as on the screen. A thank you to those of you who continue to follow this channel and to support it with your words of encouragement that these words are blessing you as you are hearing them. Thank you for your participation. May the Lord reward you with a closer walk with Him as you focus on what He is doing and saying in this day. The content of this message today is not new. The Lord has been speaking about the harvest that is coming in. And this word today is encouraging us that the work of the harvest is going forth and that nothing will be able to stop it. The word of the Lord is reaching multitudes and hearts are turning to the Lord. And so I hope this word encourages you today that hope is being extended to the nations. This message is titled, a network of ministry. I'll begin by reading scripture. 1 Peter 1 verse 25 But the word of the Lord remains forever, and that word is the good news that was preached to you. This scripture verse tells us that God's word is good news and will continue to be good news to those who receive it. Matthew 28, verse 19. Therefore, go and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. This mandate to go and preach the gospel message and disciple those who would hear the word and receive it, was given to the Lord's disciples, but it is also given to those of us who believe in the Lord Jesus Christ. Luke 10, verse 2. These were his instructions to them. The harvest is great, but the workers are few. So pray to the Lord who is in charge of the harvest. Ask him to send more workers into his fields. This scripture verse highlights the work of the harvest and a request for more workers to be brought into the fields to bring in the harvest. Matthew 24, verse 14. And the good news about the kingdom will be preached throughout the whole world, so that all the nations will hear it, and then the end will come. This scripture verse encourages us that the word of the Lord will go forth throughout the nations that the good news of the kingdom of God will go forth unhindered and that this work will be done just prior to the Lord's return. I'll begin reading this word. Look up, for your redemption is drawing near. 
In this day, says the Lord, those who have been called to run with my spirit are picking up speed and going forth in the fullness of the sun. Nothing is able to hinder them. Those who oppose my servants will be turned around by my spirit and will not be able to slow my messengers down, for the decree has been given by the Lord himself to go into all the earth and make disciples of all nations. And in this day, my messengers are going forth with the gospel message, and the good news of the Son is going forth with power and great precision to enter the hearts of those who hear. Those who oppose the moving of my spirit will be blown around by it and made incapacitated and unable to stop what I am doing. Many will make an effort to discredit the work of my spirit, but they shall not prevail, for my word is going forth, and it will accomplish what it has been sent out to do, to gather the elect from the four corners of the earth." Those who hear my voice belong to me, says the Lord. These are the ones who are being drawn in by my Spirit in this day. Many have used my name in vain, claiming to know me, but they are blinded by the deceitfulness of the heart and the lust of the flesh and are unable to understand the day and the hour in which they live. They do not understand that this is the day of the Lord's visitation. The flood waters are rising, and soon the whole earth will be covered with the waters of my spirit. Every man, woman, and child will experience the presence of the Lord on earth. They will see the beauty of the Lord in those I am sending out as bearers of the good news. No man will be with excuse on the day of the Lord's return. The nets are full, and they are being brought up out of the water. The catch is great, for the Lord has gone forth over the whole earth to bring it in. Multitudes have been lifted up out of the miry clay, out of the kingdom of darkness. The nets will soon be emptied into the place prepared. The network of ministry ordained for them is about to be put into place. Those who have been made ready to take part in this ministry will be employed and the catch will be dispersed into the places of ministry prepared for them. In these places they will be brought into wholeness and equipped to be sent out to gather in another harvest. The time is now, says the Lord, when I shall do these things. My spirit has gone forth to prepare these places of refuge and to raise up those who would take up the work of discipling those coming in. The framework has gone up and soon the structure will be ready. Strongholds over the lives of my people are being broken, and controls are being brought down by the power of my Spirit, says the Lord. My people are being set free to enter the work I've called them to in this day and this hour. A fresh wind is blowing, a fresh breeze from heaven, the winds of worship. As this breeze blows, those who join in and sway with it will be lifted to new heights in my spirit. They will soar with me in the heavenlies and will have their feet placed on higher ground upon the mountain of the Lord. At this place, 
They will find rest in me, says the Lord. They will not lean on their own understanding, but will glide with the Spirit and be in perfect peace. The tribulation round about them will not affect them, for they will rise up above it. In this word today, we see that the Lord is bringing in a harvest, that he is employing his people to be the harvesters, to go out and preach the word, and then to disciple those coming into the kingdom of God. The Lord is telling us that he is raising up places of refuge for those coming out of the kingdom of darkness. We may look around us and think the word of God is not going forth, that it's been damned up, there is so much opposition to it, and the enemy is ruling. But the Lord is telling us in Scripture and in this word today, that the good news of the gospel of Jesus Christ will go forth throughout the whole earth to reach the nations so that there will be no excuse on the day of the Lord's return. The Lord is sending his messengers forth with this good news. He is raising up harvesters in this day and sending us forth to do this work of preaching the good news and making disciples of all men. Of course, only those who receive this message will be saved. Unfortunately, there will be those who oppose the gospel message. But the good news is that multitudes are hearing the good news and they are being saved and brought in, and the Lord is preparing places of ministry for them to be discipled, to be brought into wholeness, to be equipped with the word of God, and to also go out and reach out into the harvest fields. This is the day of harvest, and the Lord is encouraging us that he is using us, that he has a system, a network that will be successful to bring in his end time harvest. Thank you for listening today. I hope this word has encouraged you, and I pray the Lord's richest blessings upon your life and upon this ministry he has called you into. Be blessed of the Lord. Have a great afternoon, and we'll see you again in the next video. Love and blessings in the name of the Lord. Bye for now.